Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the 6th of August and uh, we're in Herefordshire and uh, it's just got sunny. We've had an amazing wet summer in um, the whole of the UK and we've got a, an Indian summer happening at the beginning of September. This quite often happens and uh, the beginning of September is actually not the best time for mushrooms. There's a weird hiatus always happens each year around this time where all the summer mushrooms kind of go to bed and then the autumn mushrooms start up so it's kind of a, a low spot if you like just before the uh, the real high of mushrooms so Attila and I have come out today to pick the last of our uh, horn of plenty our craterellus cornucopoides before they all dry out in the sunshine that we've got right now um, but whilst picking them we found a whole different type of chanterelle which I've never done a video on before so I'm going to show you about it right now and it's just down here growing in almost exactly the same environment as our horn of plenty this is a much smaller cousin you can see here these tiny little fruiting bodies i've actually got a couple of horn of plenty here this is not a big horn of plenty but there's a size comparison the horn of plenty will get twice as big as this but these are actually specimens of the sinuous chanterelle now they're normally slightly darker than that as i said it's been sunny for a couple of days so these have lightened up as the sun has affected them there's one or two here this one here if you could zoom in slowly that there is more of a normal color for the for the sinuous chanterelle there was one other one that had stayed a bit moist somehow where did that one go there he is so there's one that's a bit moist now under the cap with all of these as you can see there are our usual full skills but very small this time not like the uh full skills on a cantharellus sabarius uh, uh, these are, are much, much less defined and can actually, it, it can look quite smooth under the cap, much like our Horn of Plenty. The Horn of Plenty, though, is entirely hollow. Whereas our sinuous chanterelle is not so, if I can illustrate there, the cap could hollow out but generally you'll see a solid cap surface now i've picked these ones here but of the of the sinuous chanterelle that's all i'm going to pick today because this is a mushroom that's considered uh, quite rare it's not on the red list in the uk but it's certainly not one we're going to pick for culinary purposes this and uh, another one that I rarely find that's quite similar, the Ashen Chanterelle. I don't tend to pick those because, like I said, they're, they're not on the red list, so they're not protected, but I consider them too rare to, to pick for food, if you like. The Ashen Chanterelle is actually very similar to this one, a bit like a cross between this one and the Winter Chanterelle, Craterellus tubiformis. But the Ashen Chanterelle is more prone to growing in coniferous woodlands with spruce, much like the Tubiformis is. Whereas our sinuous chanterelle, uh, its habitat is with oak and beech, and I've read somewhere possibly with uh, hazel as well, but it's not one that I've ever tasted, so I can't tell you anything culinarily about it. And I'm pretty sure that if I took these two little dry fellas that I've picked home, they would barely amount to a mouthful. So a couple of reasons not to pick them. They're particularly small, and uh, the other one, much more important, they're quite uncommon. Nevertheless, a lovely find. Uh, and if you want to find out more, go to wildfooduk.com or come on a foraging course with us.